We usually say that at our concerts you can both cry and, and laugh and dance at the same time, so it's a good mix. We are Isak. Thank you so much to Nordic Klang for having us. It's been a long time since we've played outside of Norway, so this is very, very exciting. Wie lange macht ihr schon Musik? Together we've been working five years. Yeah, five, five, over yeah, five years. Over five years now. Yes, I feel like it's my whole adult life. <laughs> Habt ihr vorher schon Musik gemacht? Yeah, well, they have been working on different projects. Mm. And, uh, when we met Alex, he was playing in 30 different bands. Yeah, yeah. And then he quit <laughs> all nice of them to be with us. Yeah. Yeah. This is also my first kind of band project, so... Yeah. Wie vereinst du die englische und die samische Sprache in deinen Songs? So, we usually say that our music is like, it's pop music, but it's also a combination of like Sami singing tradition with... Uh, vocal tradition of Europe so we implement that into like a modern package we usually say that at our concerts you can both cry and, and laugh and dance at the same time so it's a good mix but language wise we mix the English and the Sami language which is my mother tongue Du machst ja ziemlich viel außerhalb deiner Musik wie schaffst du das alles unter einen Hut zu bekommen I just think you have to be organized. It's not like a better answer to that. It's just keep <laughs> my calendar is quite uh, busy and full and then just I show up where I'm supposed to show up. You manage to, to do a lot of things if you're passionate about them and if you actually get energy also back. <laughs> Beeinflusst das alles deine Musik? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I, I would say so that people, especially who come to our concerts, will feel the activist part of me. They will sense that I have a lot to say and I say that through my music it's like one whole package. It's that like my my activist and my artist sides are not like separate. And especially our last album we had a lot of political message through yeah. our songs, both one song about the Black Lives Matter movement and a lot about climate and the climate crisis and and just just the struggle for Sami rights. Was möchtet ihr mit eurer Musik ausdrücken? For me it's diversity. It's always diversity. You know, instead of discriminating or instead of uh, silencing indigenous voices, you listen to them. Yeah, making room and making space for a lot of different people. I just think we solve things better, especially in, in a time of climate crisis. We need to. Warum seid ihr hier in Greifswald? Yeah, yeah we but, but we're invited to be here, you yeah. know, and it's, it's always an honor to kind of, you know, to represent, you know, Norway. That's always exciting to kind of show, showcase us, you know, ourselves to a different new audience. Yeah, so yeah. we're we're super happy to be here. Yeah. Was genau bedeutet es für euch hier in Greifswald zu performen? Finally being able to actually travel with our music again, and it's been a hard time for a lot of musicians. It's been a hard time for us, like actually keeping the motivation going and mm. now to be able to see different places again. I mean, this is the best part of being a musician, if you ask me. Was möchtet ihr den Studierenden aus Greifswald noch mit auf den Weg geben? Hmm, one message to the students. Yeah, hopefully people will check out our music and maybe check out other Sami artists and like, hopefully we can be an eye-opener that, that a lot of um, Indigenous music can be very cool, even though you might think it's not. <laughs>